Um, I'm here because there's a genocide happening in Palestine and the only country that can actually stop it is the US. They can stop it with a single phone call um, and they're refusing to do so and they're holding up international law, they're holding up the UN Sec Security Council, they're holding up the 153 uh, countries who are calling for a ceasefire now um, and they are essentially bullying the entire world into allowing Israel to act with impunity and just kill innocent Palestinians. Uh, do you plan to stay for the whole duration? Uh, yes, originally I thought everyone was staying for the whole duration but then um, because I'm a pro like project basis, I work in the arts and I um, and this time is a quiet period so I do have the privilege of staying the entire time. Is this your first time joining such a... I, is how do you feel about it? I mean, I, I protest quite a lot but never overnight. I've never done an overnight protest before and I've actually never camped in this way before. Um, so it's quite interesting. Um, it's hard to sleep so I brought earplugs so I managed to get some sleep yesterday. Um, and yesterday was a peaceful night. We had a lot of families with children joining us and every single tent was occupied. Um, so that was really good. Yeah. So how do you feel your, your days, uh, your time here? How do I feel my time here? Um, I brought a book in a Ziploc bag in case of the rain and I have my crochet, so I've been crocheting. Um, but also we've been having a lot of discussions. Like a lot of interesting uh, conversations have been happening about what's going on in the world, what's going on in Malaysia, how we can make a difference. Um, and there's a lot of youth. I'm not in the youth community so I'm I'm very proud of how our youth is really trying to make Malaysia a better place and I'll, I hear a lot of that here yeah every night so do you go, go out like food or your toilet um no we are very lucky that we have um, some people providing us with food and with water so we're keeping hydrated um, I, I go back I went back once to um, shower and charge my phone and I'm going to go back later today to shower and charge my phone. But other than that, we're here holding down the fort, yeah. But we take shifts. Do you think the NGOs, a lot of NGOs are doing this for Palestine? Do you think it has an impact? Um, I think that we are doing as much as we can. I personally think that we can push more. I think we could have like gone further and demanded to be in front of the US Embassy. But I think I'm more radical in that sense i think a lot of people were like okay we'll stay here and i'm like we should go more because we shouldn't allow them to do what they're doing and they're not if you really look into it the us is not just involved in what is happening in gaza and palestine so we need to really step into what is happening all over the world and show them that they cannot do this this they cannot, powerful countries cannot take over the global south, they cannot drain us of our resources and they keep doing it and the whole world is like paralyzed because the US is not, is not allowing us to make our voice heard. They're, they're using their veto power and it's not going to end until the whole world stands up. And okay, what are your hopes? Do you hope more people will come, will join in? And I hope, I was a bit worried because um, of what happened when DBKL took down the tents. A lot of people thought that that was the end and they left um, that night when we stayed. We sat on our flattened tents and we stayed. Um, and then last night, a lot of people came, a lot more people came to show support. We had a poetry reading here and there was a big crowd. Um, and then tonight there's uh, Sembayang Hajat, so there will be more people coming. Um, and then so hopefully more people find out, especially uh, as the weekend comes closer, more people are available to come and to show support. So hopefully that will happen. I'm worried we'll run out of tents. I think more people will come. <laughs> yeah.